Now this is a conceptual question the ridge that descends from the cuspal tip towards the central part of the occlusal surface in a maxillary molar is. So let's identify the keywords here. So we have to talk about the ridge starting from the cuspal tip ending at the central part of the occlusal surface in maxillary molar. So uh, to explain this let me draw a maxillary molar. So this is the illustration of a maxillary molar okay this is the mesial side this is the distal side this is buccal and this is the lingual aspect now uh, this is the central of the occlusal surface okay it's an imaginary line now let's consider this point is the cusp tip here this is the cusp tip of the buccal cusp here it is the cusp tip of the mesial lingual cusp and here it will be the cusp tip of the distal lingual cusp okay now what happens this is seen on the mesobuccal cusp so uh, from the cusp tip if we reach to the center of the occlusal surface there will be a ridge or an elevation okay another elevation that starts from the mesolingual cusp tip and it reaches to the center of the occlusal surface so this one also from the cusp tip to the occlusal surface from the cusp tip to the occlusal surface now interestingly mesolingual cusp has two such elevation one meeting with the uh, the triangular ridge of the buccal cusp and lingual cusp and one meeting with the distal buccal cusp okay so here now all these elevations which are seen on the cusp starting from the cusp tip reaching to the center of the tooth or the occlusal surface it divides the tooth into two triangular shape two sides of the triangles it would be something like this two triangles will be there okay if you see the whole picture so it would be two triangular surfaces and these ridges are known as triangular ridges okay so these ridges are known as triangular ridges now if the buccal ridge or the triangle ridge of the buccal mesobuccal cusp meets with the triangular ridge of the mesolingual cusp and a complete ridge is formed and this is known as the transverse ridge okay if that triangular ridge from the distal buccal cusp meets with the mesolingual cusp there will be a formation of another ridge that is known as oblique ridge because it obliquely closes the crown okay and other ridges here on the marginal side there will be an elevation which is known as the marginal ridge okay so these ridges these elevations are named according to the uh, location if these are present on the incisal surface that is known as incisal ridge if on the buccal surface buccal ridge okay so that is the main concept but here we should understand one thing that the oblique ridge is the uh, confluence of the two triangular ridge when uh, they cross the crown uh, obliquely. So, in case of maxillary first molar, it will be from distal buccal uh, cusp to the mesolingual cusp. Okay. Okay. So, uh, by all this discussion, we have come to a conclusion that the triangular ridges are those ridges, those elevation on the cuspal surface, uh, which starts from the cusp tip to the center of the tooth. And so, our answer to, for this will be triangular ridge in our case. Now let's see the explanation of this. So what is a ridge? Ridge is nothing but an linear elevation on the surface of tooth and is named according to the location as I have already told that is the buccal ridge, incisal ridge, marginal ridge based on where it is present. So what is the marginal ridge? So if you see a tooth okay, and on the margins of these tooth you will see certain elevations these are known as marginal ridges. So these are seen on the mesial and distal surfaces, okay, uh, distal, distal occlusal surface of the premolars and molars, okay, on the posterior teeth actually. Then we have the triangular ridge, as we have already explained, it descends from the tips of the cusp of the molars and premolars towards the central part of the occlusal surface. And why do we call this as triangular ridge? Because this elevation divides the cusp into two sides of a triangle, okay, basically a pyramidal shape, okay. 
so that's why we call it a triangular ridge now when buccal and lingual triangular ridge join they form a transverse ridge as we have already discussed this in detail with the help of figure and the oblique ridge is a ridge crossing obliquely the occlusal surface of the maxillary molars and formed by union of triangular ridges what 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 are the triangular ridges which are being confluent in this case the distobuccal cusp and the mesolingual cusp so distobuccal cusp and mesolingual cusp all these informations are very important for your exam and they are frequently as in the exam so coming to the key concept again that is the same the triangular ridge descends from the tip of the cusp of the molars and premolars and they meet to the central part of the occlusal surface now the confluence of these triangular ridges can lead to formation of either transverse ridge or can form the oblique ridge in case of maxillary molars now one more important thing the mesolingual cusp of the maxillary molar has two triangular ridges that is an important concept which we can remember so coming back to the question so uh, this is the def definition of the triangular ridge that descends from the cuspal tips towards the central part of the occlusal surface in maxillary molar 